Well, hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peak Speak. Today, we've got a great video for you because we're gonna share a tip for first time and new subcompact tractor loader backhoe owners. If you get yourself a subcompact backhoe, this is the very first thing you should learn how to do. One of the most frustrating things for new operators in digging a, a ditch is the fact that when you dig a couple of feet, then you gotta get off and move, turn your seat around, pull forward a couple of feet, set everything back up, put your legs back down and, and dig a little further. And I did that for almost a year before I learned this trick. So what we've got to learn how to do is to move the backhoe along the area where you're digging your ditch without having to get off of the backhoe. And I can tell you that I dug 100 feet last night, even all the way around this corner right up here without ever getting off of the tractor, except to move cameras and stuff like that. <laughs> but I never had to drive the tractor forward. I, I did all of my maneuvering by sitting in that seat facing backwards using the backhoe boom and dipper. We're gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing is set up when you park your tractor to begin digging your ditch. And that is, do not set your parking brake and place your transmission in neutral. That way the tractor will be able to move on its own. Now before you do that, you want to make sure that you have your bucket down and or your outriggers down to hold the tractor in place so it won't roll away because it will roll away. And these are things to keep in mind. If you are a novice operator and you're not comfortable with the controls, get comfortable with the controls first because the tractor can roll away with you when it's in neutral and no parking brake set if you don't know what you're doing with these controls or know how to stop it when it starts to get away from you. I'm at the point right now where I have dug my ditch to the point where I'm ready to move the tractor forward and dig a little further. So we've got everything set up. So the first thing you're going to do is take your dipper and put it straight up and down. Turn your bucket to where the teeth are pointed towards the ground. Then you're going to lower your boom down and stab those teeth into the ground. Really good. Next thing you'll do is just raise up your outriggers a little bit. A few inches off the ground is all you need. Raise your front bucket and now the tractor is free to roll. So what's holding it in place and what's going to control your movement is your boom and your dipper. Now, basically pushing together, you're going to push up with your boom and out with your dipper and roll the tractor. Now this is the point where you wanna stop because if you go too far, you'll lose traction with your bucket teeth and the tractor will be ready to roll away. So if you're on a hill, it can get away from you. Now the reason we leave these outriggers out is so that if it tips one way or the other, then they're there to catch it. Because when you raise this up, see how it wants to tip from side to side? Now, you also, as you get comfortable with this, you have some movement. So you can control how your tractor is sitting with this as well. And sometimes I use that to get off a ditch or over a ditch and all of that. But those are things you have to practice and get comfortable with the controls. But really, that's all there is to moving forward on the ditch. Once you get it in place, stab your outriggers back down, get your bucket back in place, and we're ready to start digging. Typically, because it's so easy to move the tractor around, I don't worry about getting every last inch of di digging ability out of a location. So when I get to the point where it's starting to feel unnatural the way that I'm having to bend the, the dipper in the bucket to dig, then I'll, I'll set myself back up, stab the boom in the ground, raise these up, push forward. back to digging. And while there is a certain amount of danger involved in this, if you start on flat ground, it's pretty easy to learn. 
I taught my son when he was digging his ditch for his conduit, I taught him how to do this, basically his first time in the sea. And he was able to do it and move the tractor along the ditch his very first time operating. Get one more move on film here. And guys, that's all there is to it. It's that simple. And this will change your life in digging a ditch because if you try to get off the tractor and move it forward every single time, it will take you 15 times as long to dig your ditch as if you learn how to do this. So once you're comfortable with the controls, this is the very first thing I would recommend learning with your new backhoe. And guys, I'll tell you this machine i brag on it all the time but this kubota bx has been invaluable to our homestead we've had to replace the main water line to our own house we have ran water and electricity to an apartment and to another separate shop by digging those ditches we've taken care of drainage ditches and now my son's moving in next door we're getting him set up and we're digging his water line so saved me all kinds of money and you get to get out and have a good time and run some equipment something i've always been interested in i love it i hope today's video was helpful if you have any questions be sure and drop those down in the comments i'll do my best to help you out hope you guys enjoyed today's video and listen don't forget to get outside and enjoy god's creation it's beautiful out here y'all have a good day mm -hmm.